The founder of a defunct UT group, Prince Kofi Amwabing, has been charged with stealing and money laundering. He was subsequently put before an Accra circuit court and granted bail for his role in the collapse of the bank in 2017. Here's a report by Godfrey Tanam. Prince Amwabing was put before an Accra circuit court with the CEO of defunct Beige Bank, Mike Nyonaku. In the submission of prosecution, Prince Amwabin misappropriated over 51 million CDs and $8,612,829, which were later transferred to UT Holdings, whilst Mike Nyonoku misappropriated 340.94 million CDs belonging to their respective customers. It was disclosed UT Bank issued investment certificate in the name of the bank, although the amounts were never credited to the customer's account but transferred to UT Holdings. Prosecution also revealed Prince Kofi Amwabe, then CEO of UT Bank, signed most of the customer's investment certificates and subsequently transferred to UT Holdings. Prosecution told the court investigation were ongoing in the two separate cases to unravel more on the offenses committed. Prince Amwabin was subsequently granted bail by the court presided over by High Court Judge Justice Emmanuel Sando to the tune of 110 million cities with two sureties who earn not less than 2,000 cities. For his case, the CEO of defunct Beige Bank, Mike Nyonoku, was remanded in police custody and will be held for one week. This was after his bill application was dismissed. His lawyers, in an argument in support of the bill application, said he would cooperate with directives of the court but was denied. The court took the decision based on the submission that investigations were still ongoing even though prosecution did not oppose the bail application. In the facts presented to the court, Beige Group, a subsidiary entity to the Beige Bank in the latter part of 2017, had deliberations with leadership of First African Savings and Loans to acquire 90% equity shares in the savings and loans entity. The value of the 90% shares was 2.5 million US dollars. The base group eventually paid 9 million CDs as part payment of the equity shares intended to be purchased. Unknown to the authorities of First African Savings and Loans, the Beige Group secretly opened a second account in the name of First African Savings and Loans known as the Control Account, which has an outstanding balance of 299 million cities at the time Beige Bank went into receivership. The case has been adjourned to January 22. Godfrey Tanam, TV3 News, Accra.